today, uh, Kane sprained his ankle maybe about, what, four days ago? Uh, two days ago. Two days ago. So what we're trying to do is get rid of some of the swelling that's in the ankle. We're going to do that first by releasing some of the muscle spasms that extend all the way through this fibularis longus down to this ankle. He's had chronic ankle sprains. So you can see how um, this ankle is deviated inward and we need to try to get it to straighten up. We want it to be like this all the time. So these ligaments are really weak right here. So they're not doing their job and pulling that foot back up. It should be like this all the time. So we want this ligament, the anterior talofibular to be stronger and that way it will hold that foot in place so it doesn't keep rolling in. So we're gonna do this with some dry needling and a high powered laser. All right, so this is what the ankle actually looks like after the needles are in. Um, so basically we're just kind of tracing all the way around the ankle, trying to give it lots of opportunities to get blood flow into those ligaments so that they can heal. Um, so really what we're doing with the dry needle is that we're always trying to kind of push the needle in, pull it out, push it in again, and you know, really try to manipulate that tissue as much as we can so that we can get as much blood flow in there as possible. It's important we don't hit any nerves, of course, so if the patient feels any kind of shitty pain down their leg, we definitely want to pull that needle out and not leave it there um, because we don't want to be dry needling nerves. <laughs> All right, so we are gonna leave these on for about 20 minutes since we have that extra time, but you don't really need to. All right, so we are gonna be doing some uh, class four high-powered laser on Kane's other ankle um, because he just has very lax ankles by nature. So we're gonna do a laser treatment on both, but since it takes uh, three sessions for you know, a couple weeks, we wanna make sure that we might as well fix both at the same time. So what's nice about this uh, machine is that it makes it really easy for you. So you just put in exactly what's wrong and you are able to get the perfect amount of wavelength and frequency that that ankle needs. So it asks all kinds of questions about skin tone, pain, and comes up with the exact amount of watts and frequencies that you'll be needing for this treatment. So this machine maxes out at 20 watts. This is gonna hit 10.8 watts at the peak. So this is a good amount, but not, not peak power. Does that mean that the laser tightens the ligaments by healing, or is it heating up the ligament? So lasers come in different, um, they have like a therapeutic laser and they have a thermal laser. So most surgical lasers actually do use heat, but right. this works, um, they call it biomodulation of light. And so what that's doing, tell me if that feels hot, by the way. You will feel the heat of it, but that's only because they choose um, certain wavelengths that create more heat. Sure. But this is different than, as you say, the surgical lasers where sometimes in sports, like athletes, they'll actually slightly crimp the ligament to tighten it. Yes. Do you mind go ahead and moving your, your ankle, bringing your toes up towards the ceiling and down? Yeah. So like, when you want me to turn over? Just like that is great. Just keep doing that movement for me. And tell me if it gets hot. So ideally, I'm just trying to keep it there as long as we are able to. If you're moving, we can keep it there a little longer. And then we're getting as many different tissues um, exposed to the laser as well. Just gives it more opportunities to heal. And I really love this for like any kind of tendon or ligament damage, um, anything really acute. Um, it just gets swelling down really fast. 
I mean, it's actually going to help your body um, modulate pain better in this area, so you'll have less pain. Um, it's going to keep swelling out. It's going to improve mobility. Oh. Just say now if you want me to move it. Of course. It's nothing new. <laughs> You're always getting... Usually I have like two phones ringing. And actually both of these joints really um, make a lot of clicking and popping noises. They're really unstable. Um, they need a lot of support. Kane has really flat feet. So, um, you know, unfortunately, we're just built for ankle issues. <laughs> and I think that's hard for a lot of people that sometimes you can't fix an issue completely. It's just your anatomy, but you have to like do your best to maintain yourself. So another really neat thing about the laser is that you can use it for acupuncture. Um, all right, so this is what the ankle actually looks like after the needles are in. Um, so basically we're just kind of tracing all the way around the ankle, trying to give it lots of opportunities to get blood flow into those ligaments so that they can heal. Um, so really what we're doing with the dry needle is that we're always trying to kind of push the needle in, pull it out, push it in again, and you know, really try to manipulate that tissue as much as we can so that we can get as much blood flow in there as possible. It's important we don't hit any nerves, of course, so if the patient feels any kind of shooting pain down their leg, we definitely want to pull that needle out and not leave it there um, because we don't want to be dry needling nerves. <laughs> All right, so we are gonna leave these on for about 20 minutes since we have that extra time, but you don't really need to. All right, so we're just gonna pull out some of these needles and make sure that they're ready. So this one's really soft, so that one's ready to come out. This one's also really soft, really easy to pull. So we can take those out. But these ones are still a little bit, a little tight. It's better, it's still not where we want it, especially this one. It's the outside of the ankle that's injured. Yeah, so they call it an inversion sprain because um, your, your ankle will actually invert. So if you look at, at this ankle, it just keeps going in, right? Yes. And you'll just keep rolling in yes. because once you get this kind of laxity where the ankle yes. deviates inward, it just constantly wants to go that way. So yes. if we can get this ligament right here, right up front mm -hmm. to do its job, it should pull that whole foot up, right? Like that. And if the foot is doing what it's supposed to, keeping it right there, it won't get injured over and over again anymore. So there's a little bit of blood, but you just get like one drop and that's it. Oh, you're right, it does feel sore. Yeah, it'll be really, really sore. That's completely normal. So I should like, I should just like, Keep your brace on, don't stretch, right, my thought? Exactly. Even if you're going to go swimming, I would wear the brace. Where are the boys that are swimming? Yeah. Yeah, because think about what you would do when you kick. You're going to be whipping that ankle around, and we really can't have that right now. But this is just for about a week. Okay. So the interesting thing is that most acupuncture points are trigger points. Yes. So there is a lot of overlap, but sometimes you just need a local point, like, you know, where the problem is, like an anatomical structure, like, hey, this is where my, you know, um, deltoid is. is. Yeah. And so, it, yeah, trigger point is basically, um, I know they're a little confusing to describe and to understand, but there's a series of points. Oh, 
I'm sorry, that are mapped out throughout the body that we understand that this particular point in the muscle refers pain to a certain region. Um, so there are a lot of, you can look them up, just put in trigger point referral, you know, uh, subscapularis or trapezius or whatever muscle you want to know. Or you can also put trigger point referral uh, ankle or shoulder or wrist. And you can see like which particular muscles could actually send pain to that area. Um, most trigger points are formed by overloading that muscle. And when you keep overloading that muscle, it gets fascia that kind of binds it down. In this spot, and that's a trigger point. Yeah. And when you keep binding, one, just slapping one layer of fascia on, on top of another, you start to lose mobility in the joints and it starts creating these like patterns of um, irregular movement. Yeah, so you have certain areas of your body that have fascia there normally, but if you have really bad posture, or if you're putting like heavy load on the same area over and over again, you'll see that you'll start to get fascia in places it really shouldn't be. A little thicken or something? Mm -hmm. And fascia, if you look at it up close, it really looks like a spider web. You're all done, Kane. I would definitely put this brace on before you start walking on it. Stabilize. If I come in tomorrow, I mean, I'll come in tomorrow through the laser ring. Should we do like acupuncture on the neck, do you think, tomorrow? Or is that just too much to slam everything together? Um, I mean, the neck we're not really doing. You don't think, just do the normal adjustment for now? Um, and just let it. Let's do this. Let's see how you feel tomorrow. Okay. We'll go from there. Uh-oh. I'll just try to oh, schedule tight. you where I have a little more time. Okay. I can take the um, asana. No, I'll see you now. Oh, yeah. Time. No, I, okay, that's okay. There How about go. you probably want your eyes back too, right? Mm, I think I'm okay. There you I go. Think, Sorry you, about thank that. Thank you. Pretty good. Yeah, it's stressed both sides. Yeah, and I always like braces like that where it's completely customizable, where you can really make it fit to your body. I think that that looks really good. I wish I could say I was not experienced in this sort of thing. <laughs> All right, so. How's it feel now that we just did all those different therapies on that foot? I mean, it feels really good. The thing is, is that, uh, you know, uh, with the brace on, it holds it together, so I won't know until I take it off, but yeah. it feels pretty good. So I would expect that to feel sore for about three days, and um, the laser will kind of mediate that to some degree, but um, really just baby that ankle for the next few days if you can. Thanks for watching my channel. Hit that subscribe button below if you would like some very simple, easy tips and tricks on how you can improve your posture. And if you have any questions that maybe you'd like me to make a video about, uh, leave it in the comments below.